Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifal Engineer at Sight YouTube channel. So dear friends, a lot of people are commenting and they are asking the responsibilities of a site engineer in Saudi Arabia or in the Middle East. So today we will briefly discuss the responsibilities of a site engineer. Because a lot of people cannot differentiate between the responsibilities of a site supervisor and site engineer. So in this video I will tell you about all the responsibilities of a site engineer that what uh, what they are doing what this what are the duties of a site engineer at site and at, at office work. So before starting our video please subscribe our YouTube channel for such a video and like if you find a video informative and if you have any issue comment it in the comment box. So let's start guys. The three main responsibilities of a site engineer is related to management, site management, manpower management and material management. And all these three responsibilities are interrelated. How? If you come to the site in the early in the morning and you went to the site, so what you will manage the site, how you will manage the site? The first of all, you have to know about activities going on site. And you have to know about the planning uh, you have already done the planning for the activities at site so for two activities if you know about the activities site so manage the manpower and you have to manage the material how you will manage the site you have and manpower both are interrelated you have to divide the groups and you have to send the people on the activity in the the in the supervision of a supervisor are for men like if you have three activities steel fixing shuttering and back filling then you have to send make three different uh, groups and you have to send them on the relevant sites how you will manage them in forward the management of in forward this is the important you have to know the productivity rate of the people who are working with you and you have to put in mind how much it will cost like if there is a still you want to send some people for a steel piecing so how you will do, uh, make the group you have to make the group like of three people and this and you are sending them so you have to put there the cost of three people in your mind how much it will cost and when they will complete that work so for that you have to know the productivity rate of the people who are working under you that is the way to divide manpower or make group on manpower. When you are going to make the group on manpower, you will not put all the good guys in one group and the bad guys in another group. You have to divide the group there to make it moderate. Like 50% good or 50% with normal skills and you have to send them and you have to make team leaders and you have to give them in a target. Like if you will give them a target so they will do that target very easily how? Just give them a target and told them that if you complete this target in 6 hours so after the 6 hours you will get the overtime like that. If you complete your target in 6 hours so after that you can go to the camp and you will be your other the remaining 4 hours will be an off day for you. So that is was the main power management. Site management when you send the FIFA you have to check all the material available at the site at the activity area or not if any at the, the material available at site it is uh, enough for the full day or not you have to know these things before dividing the groups of uh, people you have to know about the starting day like if you are have you if you have a three activities for tomorrow like steel fixing shuttering and earth filling for earth, earth big filling or earth compact, uh, soil compaction you have to know that is the equipment available at site or not is that is okay as the people are the the, the technician or the P operators are TV certified or not certified to avoid safety stoppage of the work second thing if you are going for shutting you have to check Binding wire available at store or at site or not, steel or it's enough for the daily work that uh, that activity or not, and all the re uh, relevant uh, material according to activity we have to check before one day. If you didn't check that and you didn't um, manage that uh, material at that time, so you will face problem. You will face the delay of the work next day. Now in material management. You have to coordinate with your storekeeper to 
by uh, to ask him that how much quantity is available inside and how much we need more that's enough now we will come when you manage your site manage people manage material and the end of the day you get your target of all the activities then you have to make a daily progress report every company every client has its different formats so if you need i can share my company formats with you just for your guidance so please then comment if someone need it or comment your email so i will share it with you at the end of the day you have to make a daily progress report of all the activities which carried in its side you have to put men forward you have to put the equipments you have to put the progress of the activities and all that report that was like for a day activity if in case you find the, the the material is not enough for the next day so you have to go for to order the material you have to make a mr mr material request for material request, what what things you have to know? You should know about the estimation of material. If you are going to make the steel uh, order, so you have to know about the bar bending, bar bending schedule and estimation of the steel. If you are going to make the shuttering plywood, you have to know about how to estimate the shuttering plywood for a different work. If you want to uh, make order for the equipment for earth bag filling, so you have to know that how much equipment you need and how much machinery you need and which kind of machinery you need. You have to know about this then you will make MR and you will send it to procurement team and they will arrange it for you. After material management, all these things, this coming site supervision, supervision, site supervision mean not that site supervisor, supervision. If you uh, manage your manpower good in a better way and you also manage your site and the material, everything is enough. But you just give them the activity and then go to the, back to the office and sit there for a full day. So maybe the people, you will not get your target. So time by time you have to go to the, activity, to the site, you have to check their activity, you have to check their progress and you have to give them instruction and to check their work their work as per drawing or as per schedule or not if not then guide them or restart the work recheck the work every time so you will it will be very easy and uh, it will be very easy for you to get your target after that when you are going to manage the site and manage the site the most important is the hsc standards health safety and environment standards when you are going to manage the site when you are going to give the task to your team when you are going to arranging men for you have to uh, make a tbd about it about this uh, health safety and environment hsc safety rules and you have to check your site time by time to check that is there any hazardous uh, material available at site or not make housekeeping of the, all the um, uh, sites after completing the activities and you have to follow the HSE standards and you have to make to uh, follow these safety standards at site there is also a responsibility for a site engineer to check safety of their people and at their site now when you are going to execute or of all the activities you have to follow kvqc rules and specification of the project and you have to do everything and all work as per specification as per international standards and as per uh, project specifications so for this you have to coordinate for the quality department and you have to check the method statement for the activities and itps and you have to follow that method statement and itps at site during the execution of the activity to get the your target as per quality standards when you complete all these work so after there you have a manager that's called construction manager so you have to be, uh, make reporting to the construction manager this is also a responsibility for site engineer when you completing your work you are going to make a material request you are making you need more mail for so for all of these things you have to give a report and you have to discuss it with your construction manager and you have to take his approval for all of these work so to up, and after that he will coordinate with the high management of the company so to reporting to construction manager or your high manager your reporting manager this is also a responsibility of a site engineer pre-inspection when you are going to complete your activities soil compaction or concrete costing or shuttering or 
steel picks and whatever so before to coordinate with your qaqs engineer and bring him for the inspection or before the client or consultant inspection you have to do the pre-inspection of all your activities or all your work which is executed by your team you have to do the pre-inspection to avoid comments from your QAQC department or to avoid comments from the consultant. This is also the responsibilities of a site engineer to check all your work that is as per long, as per quality or not. And also there is another uh, responsibility that a site engineer is responsible to coordinate with the planning engineer because when you are going to make your progress report you have to send it to the planning engineer so he will put that progress in his uh, schedules. And you have to make coordination with the quality department for different inspection and for different meetings. You have to you are responsible to make coordination with the safety departments. If you have any problem, if you are facing any issues related to safety or if any accident incident occurs, so you have to coordinate with the safety department. So, guys, these were the main responsibilities of a site engineer site in Saudi Arabia. So you have to know all these things, you have to know about the quantity and estimation, you have to know uh, about the uh, specification, you can, you should read the drawings and you have a good communication skill for coordination with people and you have a good management skill. So these were the responsibilities, so I will just summarize them. Once, uh, like first site management, main for management, material management, daily progress report, daily planning for the site. Material request, supervision of the site, HSC campaigns at site, Palo KVQC standards at site, reporting to the construction and high management, pre inspection of all executed work and material, and coordination with planning, KVQC, or other departments at site. These all are the responsibilities of a site engineer in Saudi Arabia. So, guys, this is a few points or video informative. Please like our video. If you have any issue, put it, uh, make it in the comment box. And thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you so much.